What's up guys, welcome back, to, welcome back to another video and in today's video we are back with the E91 M3 and I know a lot of you guys have been waiting to see this content. I mean the E91 M3 is definitely a special build and uh, it's definitely something I've been trying to get on top of but there's a lot of things going on with the holidays and uh, it's just kind of been pulling me back but no excuses, no excuses. We are bringing you guys a completion video of the front end on this E91 M3. Literally the only stuff that's missing on this front end um, is everything you guys see over here. We're talking headlights, front bumper, undercarriage stuff, crash bar supports and then like literally the front fender liners we already have the rear fender liners on the front fender so so literally by the end of this video this entire front end should be literally a hundred percent complete which is gonna be so 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 satisfying and i also picked up a few things that this m3 needed uh basically these are two support bars um my donor car did come with two of these but i ended up using one of them on that car so long story short i had to get a new set um so i could put it on the wagon this is actually a cap for something that was causing my car not to start so i actually show you guys the issue on why my car wasn't starting in a little bit and this right over here is a hose that's uh uh, basically the only hose that I have ripped and is basically causing a coolant leak. Before we actually start installing things onto the E91 M3 wagon and getting this front end fully assembled, I do want to give a special shout out to everyone's names right over here that purchased merch since the last video. For those of you guys who don't know, we actually dropped some license plate frames and they are a limited batch. So again, shout out to everyone over here. There's a lot of people that went ahead and cop those license plates. We still got quite a bit. So if you guys want to cop those, support the channel at the same time, cop a really nice license plate and at the same time be featured on the E91 M3 plaque. Make sure to check it out down below. And uh, did I mention there's also a giveaway, yes. So not only are you guys getting beautiful license plate frames from Save a BMW, Broke Beamer Boy Life, or the M Life, remember to stay humble plates, you guys will also be featured on the plaque for the E91 M3 and also entered for a giveaway, not to mention, of course, shout out in the next video. The giveaway is brought to us by Keys Motorsport. They sent us out a few products to give away to you guys. So you guys will also be entered for that. As soon as the license plate frames sell out, that giveaway pretty much ends as well. So for those of you guys who want to enter to win something as well and get everything else I just mentioned earlier, make sure to check out that first link down below but without further ado guys let's go and hop into the video so the first thing i honestly want to get done is the engine based stuff so we have this coolant hose that's honestly causing a coolant leak like i said this is the issue why my car wasn't starting not really this but this kind of covers up the issue and then these support braces are just going to make the engine bay look a lot nicer and i definitely want to get those installed so opening up the engine bay guys it is for the most part put together which looks really 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 good but as you guys see we have some two bolts two nuts right over there two nuts two bolts and we do need to get those crash bars to saw so we're going to go ahead and do that uh before we actually do that though the reason this car wasn't starting and pretty much had to go through a lot of diagnosis to figure this out on 335s and 328s this negative cable right over here it actually has like a red sleeve around it and basically on a 328 or 335 you actually plug that in right over here um so i assumed it just goes right over here and it was causing a short in the engine and causing it not to start up basically just throw a lot of faults for throttle actuators and that's the reason why we actually replaced the throttle actuators and also threw faults for our van osses and a bunch of other stuff so so long story short that was a big issue and an easy fix so just pretty much removed the cable on there put it right down there because that is a ground cable and now we're pretty much just left with this and that's where this actually comes to play bada bing bada bang just like that and just like that guys putting on that cap does actually block off that screw so we don't have to worry about that everything is grounded properly this engine is running absolutely perfectly super happy we have brand new throttle actuator now the next thing i want to knock out real quick is this hose right over here and for those of you guys who don't know where this is exactly it's actually right on the top and i don't really need to drain any coolant to do so i just have to disconnect this right here and then disconnect it right over here and replace it with the new one so three two one so in with the new and out with the old you guys can see right over here that the inside of this is pretty much corroded and it snapped so it was just leaking coolant like crazy so now that this is out thankfully we found the corporate we got the cap installed we have the new coolant hose i think now i kind of want to install those uh, like engine strut braces on it i mean like why not we don't have to take this thing apart anytime soon until the after the inspection and even then i kind of want to get the whole car together before i actually slap it on a supercharger so yeah i think we can go ahead and just put on those strut braces And now that we finally got those two bars on there, that is looking a lot better. The fitment's absolutely perfect. I'm super happy about that. I cannot wait, guys, till this whole car is orange. Literally, the gold accents on this car, guys, look so, so, so good. I cannot wait till this whole car is orange. But in the meantime, we need to get this thing certified. So uh, let's get to it. So both these headlights, honestly, they need to get... Actually, no, hold up. I think they're just dirty. Never mind. I think they're just dirty straight up. I thought they actually need to get polished because it has all these lines in it. But I think uh, I may have gotten lucky. So before actually getting any of this stuff installed, I'm actually not going to wash the headlights because I don't want and risk any electronic stuff getting broken but these bumpers and everything over here and all the leaves and everything all this stuff right over here is super dirty it's got leaves all over it. i think i'm gonna go ahead and power wash everything here so let's go ahead and just get all this stuff out there and just get it power washed So 
So now that everything's pretty much cleaned up, we do have to wait for it to dry because I'm not really trying to get super wet installing this stuff. Uh, but we do have both headlights. So let's just go ahead and try to fit both headlights, get them installed. And then I think the next thing is going to be the, the air duct. So yeah, first things first, let's get these headlights in. Hopefully these work because I haven't even tested them. Guys, from the front of the car, it literally looks like it's just missing a bumper. It's missing a lot of things, but this thing is really coming together. From right over here, this definitely looks like a real E90X M3 chassis. And oh my God, even with those wheels and that fit me, it just looks so, so, so good. Thankfully, the headlights cleaned up really, really, really well. Like, honestly, I just pretty much wiped it. If definitely, if I do a polish, it's gonna look absolutely brand new. So I'm super happy about that. I definitely wanted to keep the OEM style, mainly because, um, I don't know, I'm just a huge fan of the OEM uh, headlights. I think the next thing I wanna go ahead and do before actually slapping on the front bumper is actually start assembling the cowl and the system up over there. I just want to assemble this completely so when we actually put on the bumper we can actually close the hood and everything looks 100% dialed in. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and start installing the cowl. And guys, moment later, I finally got this strut brace, that strut brace, this cowl, this cowl, and this actual center cowl that actually supports it all. And I got all the little plastic pieces as well. Now, unfortunately, this cowl, as you guys can see, is snapped right over here. And this one as well is snapped right over here as well. So I do need a new cowl. And I actually need the weather gasket that kind of sits back there as well. For some reason, I can't find those. Either I lost them or it didn't come with the other car. So uh, yeah, I possibly need to get that weather seal. And I do need to get some new cowls. So if any of you guys are selling some cowls locally, let me know. I do want to cop them. Or if you guys have an extra set of them um, and you want with the burger tuning ones let me know because again I need everything as stock as possible for the inspections but yeah guys looking so far so good now that everything's pretty much buttoned up it is ready for the front bumper so let's go ahead get that front bumper I think we need to put the belly pan as well um yeah so I think bumper first let's do bumper first I really want to do bumper <laughs> And guys, we finally have the bumper on the car. I mean, it looks so, so, so good. It literally looks OEM. And I'm so excited that everything actually hooked up absolutely perfect. Like everything bolts it up almost perfectly. The only thing is the fender um, to the chassis over here in this section. I had a fabricated bracket on both sides and that ended up working out perfectly. And as you guys can see, like the gaps on both sides, like, wow. Honestly, this Silverstone is absolutely beautiful. So I finally got all that stuff sorted. Let's go ahead and close the hood and see if our gaps are on point. Three two <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god guys for the first try this from the front looks like a factory car like the gaps and everything like wow that is first try i mean that headlight could go a little bit lower from being very picky but oh my god that needs to go in the center we definitely need to remove that once we actually get it in for paint then go ahead and patch up those holes as well but oh my god guys like literally in terms of fitment it came out absolutely perfect especially for something like this like a custom project getting perfect results like that is very difficult and my oh my <laughs> <laughs> looks crazy the v8 m3 like i've said before guys is the best m3 for the money especially nowadays like especially that one i'm selling that for twenty thousand dollars clean title manual and pristine like exterior condition that's not wrapped that's original paint right there and it's crazy that these cars are going for very 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 cheap so i wanted to honestly build the best version of an e90 x m3 as possible especially we got the manual gearbox in this car as well we have the v8 and guys like this thing is just it's timeless it's absolutely timeless i mean if we do the math this is pretty much a 15 year year old car which is just kind of crazy to think about for a 15 year old car this thing looks <laughs> really nice so now that we pretty much fixed all of our links got the engine bay fully in order and the front end fully assembled now we don't have to direct our attention to the front we have things we need to knock out on the sides like for example we do need to put on the side mirrors the door cards the side skirt we definitely need to put on the rear bumper guards and uh, the rear bumper so we can actually get the exhaust mounted up that's probably gonna be honestly i'm gonna try to do this rear bumper conversion pretty soon here because i need to put on the stock muffler this thing when you turn it on it just collapses clouds of smoke underneath the car and i don't know if that's really safe it doesn't even have a muffler it's pretty much just mid pipes to like right next to like the differential and stuff so definitely definitely need to get that sorted asap um but for now i'm just super happy with the results that is that is absolutely amazing i'm gonna try to upload more frequently guys i have all the parts that i need to start assembling as much of this as possible so i'm gonna try to knock it out faster and faster in the upcoming videos but as for now i do have something that kind of came up and i need to take care of it and uh, that is the stupid city patrol so whatever i don't know city county whatever um they came by again and ticketed on um, my trailer and my truck this is the third time and uh, i'm going to show you guys what i'm going to go ahead and do to take care of that because uh this is my house i'm going to do whatever i please that's a beautiful looking trailer that's a good looking truck there's no reason why i'm getting ticketed to park you know my stuff in front of my house so whatever let's just go ahead and clean up the garage get this car in the garage and i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what's going on with that so now that we have the e91 m3 just parked chilling like a villain i also moved the ice 3 and then the other e90 m3 uh somewhere else as well mainly because i need to show you guys what's going on with my truck first things first you guys can see my main road to my house unfortunately um yeah i do kind of have a busy street in front of my house but the thing is you guys can see my trailer and my truck it's on pretty much my property line technically it's on my property line but at the same time this is considered like the city but what's really frustrating is the fact that um i used to be able to park literally anything in front of my dad's house um and here if you park anything a truck a trailer anything for longer than three days without moving it um you get a citation for it and then they'll tow it three days after that so you have to constantly make sure that any cars that are parked in front of your house need to be moved every three days which is just absolutely stupid i didn't show you guys the last citation i got i wouldn't really call it citation actually i call it violation i mean it is a violation so it just says as long as you move at 300 feet everything is graving the navy before 12 15 or they're going to end up towing the truck and i actually got one on the trailer as well as long as i move before 12 15 everything is graving the navy and it is the 13th so uh yeah i'm here documenting it let's go ahead and move the trailer and truck so they can't tow it And moments later, guys, finally, finally, the truck is moved. Now we shouldn't be able to get towed, but we finally actually got the trailer back here. And I'm actually kind of shocked that it fit back here. So I guess that's a plus. I mean, it's definitely a plus. At least it's definitely out of the way. And thankfully, it barely cleared, like to the point where the gates will still close, the trailer's in the backyard, and it literally barely clears this car. I was afraid that I might have to move this car, uh, but thankfully, actually, this is quite a bit of space. I didn't realize how much space I actually had back here. Guys, this thing barely cleared, though. Like, it literally was like two inches from each side. And I accidentally hit this one um, trying to get in. So that's unfortunate, but it could have been a lot worse. I'm super happy for, for doing this on my own. I got this back here. I think I'm I think I'm getting pretty good at moving a trailer. So yeah, A91 M3 front end, check. Uh, truck move, check. Trailer store, check. 
Uh, so we just gotta remove the sticker off the truck and then honestly I wanna get some things to surprise my wife because uh, I don't know if you guys know but she actually started a YouTube channel and she didn't want me to shout her out or anything like that. She actually started up a YouTube channel like a year ago and then when I shouted her out she didn't really wanna do it because she didn't feel like she earned it. Um, so she actually started a YouTube channel on her own, completely on her own. I have not reposted anything, I have not promoted it whatsoever and she got to her first 100 subscribers in li honestly less than two weeks which is very impressive and I'm very proud of her. So uh, yeah, all the people that I see commenting on her videos, I've never even seen them on my videos. So it's just something that I'm really proud of her for. I mean, YouTube is not easy to do. And the fact that she was able to get 100 subscribers in two weeks, that's very impressive. When I first started, I, had, I didn't get anywhere near 100 subscribers. I think it took me like five years to get 100 subscribers. Um, and then of course, I didn't know what I was doing. I did give her some tips. So, um, you know, that's all hand in dandy. But for the most part, she put in the work, she put in the effort, no shout outs. She did that complete on her own. And uh, I do want to surprise her. So I'm going to go ahead, uh, wash up, go ahead and lock up everything over here and actually head out, get her some balloons, uh, maybe even take her out for dinner. So I'll bring you guys with us uh, to celebrate her success because her success is my success and I'm just really happy for her. We're back inside guys. I'm a little freshened up, not too much, but a little bit. I got some balloons for the wifey because again, you gotta celebrate. And then I also got some fruit tarts because she absolutely loves a fruit tart. So uh, anywho, uh, those are Christmas gifts for my friends. We're actually, I just kind of like got those right there, chilling right there. But this is gonna be my wife's perspective when she walks in the house. She's gonna see the balloons, she's gonna see the fruit tarts, but then she's gonna see all these dishes. So let me go ahead and get to these dishes. Moments later guys, finally finished the dishes. Uh, this definitely looks a lot better with the dishes complete. Imagine her coming in, she's like, well thanks for the balloons, but this looks like a mess. <laughs> So now that everything's dialed in, I'm gonna set up the camera, get her reaction and see. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure she's gonna be happy. She loves fruit tarts and obviously celebrating a day that she hits 100 subscribers is a big deal. Again, I am very proud of her and I really, really, really wanna show some love and get some of you guys to go to her channel. But at the same time, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do that just in case she doesn't want that. Uh, so uh, yeah, eventually, eventually you guys will find out what she's doing, but she is doing automotive content and she is on her own channel and she's doing her own thing. So uh, yeah, hopefully one day well, you know, I'll try to show you guys her channel and, you know, maybe we do a collaboration or something like that together. But in the meantime, she wants to do her own thing and I have to respect that. Uh, so without further ado, let's just go ahead and set up the camera and get her reaction as soon as she gets home. <laughs> You're lying. You didn't do this. <laughs> I just realized you could see me through that. I didn't see you. That's so cute. Baby. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. You boy. still get sushi. <laughs> but they actually had your pies. Aww. So it's meant to be. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> now I have to get one million. <laughs> <laughs> well, YouTube will reward you at one million. They'll give you that big, big old YouTube plaque. <laughs> I don't even have that yet. Aww. Hey baby. Hey baby. How was your day? It was pretty good. <laughs> Congratulations again. Thank you. I just want to close out this video, guys. Uh, we had a good time, right? Yes, we did. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sushi, honestly, at this place is so good. I love it. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, anyways, the next part of this E91 build series is going to be coming up probably in a day or two. I'm going to try to upload more frequently. So, uh, yeah, that's coming up. And also, I have some more i3 videos. I know a lot of you guys don't like the i3 content, but at the same time, uh, the world's going electric. So, I'm going to make some i3 content regardless. Um, and then, of course, we're going to obviously stick to the E91 M3 and then hopefully, hopefully, the R8 coming soon. But without further ado, guys, that is going to have to conclude the video. So, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. See y'all on the next one. Peace out.